All right, students, we're going to talk about blood types today. Uh, this is called the ABO blood uh, system. Um, once I show you this, you're going to also hear about um, which blood type can, you know, earn you some money in some cases. And um, also you'll understand blood transfusions and why you just can't donate blood to anyone. You have to have the right match or so to speak. We'll talk about that. So first let's talk about what this blood type thing means. So if you're blood type A, it basically means that on your red blood cells, which are shaped like this, and remember they carry oxygen around your body and, and deliver it to your cells. Well, it means that on your red blood cell that you have um, this antigen or this m molecule, this protein that says, it tells the body basically that you're blood type A. And so that way you're basically, if you're blood type A, you have this protein protein called an antigen on the surface of every red blood cell you have and so the body recognizes this kind only and that means if you get another blood type then you'll produce antibodies to destroy something else so you only recognize this type so if your blood type B it means that you have B antigens in other words B protein uh, markers on your cell and that means you only recognize blood type B but if you have a blood type AB, it also means that you have blood type A and blood type B. So you have A protein antigens and you also have B protein antigens. And that means if someone were to um, give you blood type A and blood type B, you would, you would be able to recognize it. You're not going to destroy it. And then you have blood type O. Someone with blood type O has nothing on the surface. As you can see here, there is no protein. Um, and so this is very important because someone with blood type O, um, they have to be very careful because if they get blood type A or B, they're not going to recognize it and they're going to destroy it and they're going to make antibodies to destroy that. And when that happens, the blood starts clotting. In other words, it starts aggregating and sticking together and it can cause death in some cases and a very strong immune response, you know, uh, strong allergies and you can get really sick and possibly die. So you have to make sure you match with the right blood. So again, let's talk about that. So again, someone with blood type A only recognizes A. So what if someone um, someone with blood type A, um, they can get blood from, if they get blood from someone with blood type B, they're only going to recognize the A, they're not going to re recognize the B. So they'll destroy um, these blood cells and again, um, it could be deadly. Um, what if someone with blood type A gets blood from someone with blood type AB? Well, some of a blood type A will only recognize the A part, right? But they won't recognize the B part. So again, they'll destroy this. And again, you'll have the blood clotting, a very powerful immune response, possibly death. What if someone with blood type A gets blood from someone with blood type O? Well, actually, since they'll, um, since you, you won't, um, you'll only recognize the A, but what you'll notice is that it you don't see any proteins. And so you can get uh, blood from blood type O because it's almost like invisible in your body and you can use it. So it's not going to get recognized. It won't get detected. You won't have an immune response. So the cool thing about having blood type O is you can give blood to anyone. That's a really cool thing here. Again, how about blood type B? You'll only recognize your own blood. Um, so you'll only recognize blood type B. So if you're blood type B and someone gives you blood type A, you're going to destroy this because you're not used to this um, blood. So you'll make antibodies for this, destroy it. You'll get sick and possibly die. So what if you're, again, uh, blood type B? What if you get some from AB? Well, again, remember, you're going to recognize the, the B part, but you're not going to recognize the A part. So again, your immune system is going to attack, these, um, attack the A's on here and destroy that cell, again, at a blood clot, and then possibly die. Again, if you're blood type B, what if you get from what if someone uh, from blood type O gives you blood? Well, again, since there's aren't any proteins there, you're not going to make any antibodies against this, and so it'll roam freely in your blood with no problem. So that's why blood type O is what we call the universal donor. As you notice, a person with blood type O can give blood to pretty much you know anyone. Um, so that's a universal donor. It can donate to anyone because no one will have a response to it and that blood will be accepted by anyone. Um, and you can make good money with this because you can donate blood to anyone. So sometimes the blood bank will send you a letter when they find out you're O positive, which means you're blood type O, 
and they'll basically say, hey, can you donate blood once a month? We'll pay you this much. Sometimes you can make a lot of good money there. All right, so now what if your blood type AB? Well, this is actually good to have, and not, not in terms of donating, but in terms of receiving blood, because watch. If your blood type AB, then you can receive blood type A because you already recognize the A portion. You can also receive blood type B because you recognize the B part. You can also receive, obviously, someone who gives you AB as well because you recognize the A and the B. But you can also receive blood type O because, again, it goes undetected in the body and you can still use it. You can use that to carry oxygen. So, but the problem is, is that someone with blood type AB, watch this, again, someone with blood type AB, they can't donate to anyone, really, Be only to themselves, because if someone with blood type AB gives someone with A, their AB, this person won't recognize the B portion and will attack that blood or reject this blood. Someone with AB can't give blood to someone with B because this person with B won't recognize the A portion and they'll attack this blood and get sick and all that. Someone with AB can't donate to someone with blood type O because blood type O person doesn't recognize the A or the B because they, they're not used to that. And so they'll get sick and all that. So uh, someone with blood type AB might be able to get blood from um, anyone. They might be the universal recipient or receiver. But they can't donate to him. They have to be very careful who they donate their blood to. They can only donate their blood to someone else with AB type. So again, who can receive from anyone? AB can receive from any one of these. So if you're in an accident and your blood type AB and you know that, pretty much any blood, as long as it's checked for HIV or anything, you can get any type of blood. So you can receive from anyone. But if you're blood type O, you pretty much can give to anyone. So you're their universal donor. But if you're in an accident and you're blood type O, you have to be careful who you get blood from. You might be making money giving blood away and stuff, but when it comes to you being in an accident and you need blood don donated to you and transferred or transfused to you, you can only get it from blood type O. You can't get it from any of these because you don't recognize that. So that's the, that's the idea with blood type systems. Now we're going to do some sample problems.